Front end loaders are a versatile piece of equipment that's become a mainstay for many industries, such as construction, mining, agriculture, and public works. Front end loaders are generally used to scrape and move soil, snow, and materials. However, with specialized attachments, they can do almost any task. Front end loaders come in all shapes and sizes, including track loaders, skid steer, backhoe loaders, loader loaders, and wheel articulating equipment. Loaders are often misused by stretching the lifting capacity and failure to follow safety procedures. This program will concentrate on the basic safe operations for the standard front end loader. As an operator, you're a skilled professional who's responsible for an expensive piece of equipment as well as the safety of those around you. You should not operate the front end loader unless you've been fully trained and authorized by your organization. Take the time to thoroughly read and understand the operator's manual before using the equipment. For your personal safety, you should wear protection such as hearing protection, safety shoes, hard hat, safety glasses, gloves, and a high visibility vest. ROPS, or ropes, are protective structures designed to create a protective zone around the operator. When used with a seatbelt, the ROP will prevent the operator from being thrown from the protective zone and crushed during an overturn. Never operate equipment without rollover protection in place. It's important to remember that during operation, front end loader's center of gravity and the stability may change and result in an unsafe condition. Changing the center of gravity presents a potential tip or rollover hazard for the operator. To help prevent this situation, use a front end loader only for its intended purpose. When traveling, keep the loaded bucket low. Watch for overhead clearance with the bucket raised and never move or swing a load with people in the work area and never allow people to ride in the bucket or anywhere else on the equipment. Serious accidents and deaths have occurred when operators attempted to start a loader from a position other than seated in the cab. Loaders are sold with the shield covering the starter motor to prevent bypass starting. Some older units do not have this feature and should be retrofitted so never trip to bypass start your equipment. Be sure to load the bucket evenly and never exceed the load limits listed in the operator's manual. An elevated bucket changes the center of gravity which makes it easier to tip over due to the momentum and or centrifugal force. Always keep the load and the speed low when using your front end loader. A loader is not intended or designed for lifting or carrying people. Allowing riders should never be permitted. Make it your policy. Absolutely no riders. Rearward rollovers can occur when the center of gravity moves forward past a baseline of stability, either to the side or the rear of the equipment. The center of gravity must be kept within the baseline of stability to keep the loader right side up at all times. Take extra care to prevent this type of rollover. In addition to the center of gravity factor in a rear overturn, load weight and proper hitching is important. Never tow or pull a load with anything other than a drawbar. Hitching higher increases pressure of the rear tires against the ground and result in a possible tip over. When a load is hitched to the drawbar, if the front end of the loader lifts, the rear drawbar will lower, changing the angle and helping to prevent a tip over. How to prevent backward upsets. A backwards tip can occur in less than one and a half seconds. Factors that can cause a loader to tip backward depend on the load and the height of the hitch point. Be sure to hitch only at the manufacturer's recommended height using a drawbar. Engage the clutch pedal slowly and smoothly and be ready to disengage power quickly if the front end begins to come up. Start forward motion slowly and increase speed gradually. Following manufacturer's instructions, use counterweights to increase loader stability. Drive around ditches, not across them. Back the loader out when stuck or get towed out when necessary. Drive straight down even the gentlest slope. Don't drive diagonally across it and turn downhill when working across a slope. Never coast downhill. Before starting down, shift to a lower gear that prevents freewheeling and excessive braking. Try to use the same gear to go down a hill that you'd use to pull the load uphill. How to prevent sideways tip overs. Match speed to conditions and loads and avoid depressions, ditches, and obstacles. Avoid crossing steep slopes. 
If stability becomes uncertain, always turn downhill and keep loads, implements, and loader buckets close to the ground. Be sure to back up steep slopes or ramps and use the engine for braking when going downhill. Workers have suffered serious injuries as a result of falling from their loader. Most are due to improper mounting or dismounting of the loader. The steps should be used in the same manner as climbing a ladder. Either two hands and one foot or one hand and two feet should be in contact with the steps to help prevent falls. Anyone in the vicinity of the loader is at risk of being run over. It's your responsibility to be sure the area is clear before moving the loader. Loader runover often occur due to the driver's inability to see children and other people in the line of travel or hidden by the mass of the equipment. And riders falling from steps, the cab, or drawbar, and bypass starting. There have been deaths when workers were resting in the shade of a large loader and were run over when not noticed by the operator. Workers can easily become crushed when standing between the loader and another object. Often the cause is related to the inability to see clearly over the equipment, a breakdown of communication, a lack of control of the loader, or the worker on the ground is in the wrong location. Be sure to check carefully before moving and never allow anyone to enter the area between the loader. Articulation refers to a pivot point, which allows the vehicle to bend or pivot on that joint. The idea is to decrease the turning radius without decreasing the size of the equipment. The area between the front and rear wheels on either side of an articulated loader can be a very dangerous place. Even a slight movement of the steering wheel will cause the loader to move or articulate in the middle, bringing the front and rear wheels closer together with more than enough power to crush in an instant. In some cases, if the steering wheel on some loaders is moved, even with the engine not running, the loader may unexpectedly articulate when the engine is started again. Many loaders have a power takeoff or PTO shaft. The rule is never remove the guard. An unguarded PTO shaft can grab your clothing and there's no way to stop it. PTOs are known to have torn off limbs of a lot of workers. The PTO must be equipped with a shield to cover the stub shaft to prevent accidental contact. The basic safety rules for front end loaders are know your front end loader, Read the operator's manual and learn all about the equipment, how the attachments work, and always keep the front end loader in good condition. Only use equipment outfitted with rollover protection. Most front end loader fatalities are caused by overturns, so always wear your seatbelt. Become familiar with the job site terrain. Drive slowly and safely and use caution on slopes. Never lift anyone in a front end loader bucket. Never tow without a drawbar due to the risk of flipping over backwards. Never jump off moving equipment or leave the engine running. Front end loaders can run away from you in an instant. Never refuel while the engine is running. Do not add water to a hot radiator due to potentially getting scalded. Of course, we know to keep riders off the loader. Equipment maintenance is a key for safe operation. Take time to plan the job. Watch for all hazards on the job site, especially overhead lines. Only perform the job if it can be done safely. A well-maintained loader is a safe loader. Front-end loaders take a beating. Therefore, daily maintenance inspections are essential to ensure that the loader is in good operating condition. Refer to your equipment's maintenance manual and follow the safe operating procedures. Use a formal checklist to ensure that all the important aspects of your inspection are addressed. If performing maintenance where you may need to work under the bucket, be sure to secure the bucket to avoid being crushed. Check for hydraulic leaks by using a piece of cardboard as hot pressurized hydraulic fluid is capable of penetrating the skin and causing injury. Always shut off the engine when refueling and of course never smoke when refueling. Ground the fuel nozzle or funnel against the filler neck to avoid static ignition of fuel papers. Your daily inspection should include Check all the fluid levels, oil, battery water, transmission, hydraulic, radiator, and fuel. Check all hoses, belts, and fittings for damage or leaks. Ensure that the cab is clean and free of items that could get under your feet while operating the equipment. Check the condition of tires for evidence of cuts or damage. Check all lights, signals, warning lights, 
backup alarms, and turn signals. Verify the operation of all instruments and controls. Any malfunctions or unserviceable conditions must be reported to your supervisor for repair. Front end loaders are workhorses, but not intended for high speed operation. Be especially careful operating at any location. Often, 5 miles per hour is posted on job sites. If not posted, use your good judgment and drive safely for the conditions. There are always people walking around the job, so drive slowly. Keep in mind that braking conditions may vary due to mud, loose gravel, the bucket load, or other conditions. When visibility is obstructed, take advantage of spotters to help guide you. Adequate ballasting is essential for safe lifting. If the rear of the loader is somewhat light and bouncy as the loader starts to lift the load, additional ballasting is needed. When operating a front-end loader, watch the road or field. Avoid holes, rocks, loose fill, or any other obstacle that could upset the loader. Watch for overhead wire and obstacles when the loader is raised. If working inside buildings, watch for low ceiling beams and doorways to prevent being crushed between them and the loader. Also be sure there's enough ventilation so carbon monoxide from the loader engine will not build up. Be careful when backfilling. The weight of the material plus the weight of the loader could cause a trench to collapse. Avoid undercutting high banks and watch for falling rocks and cave-ins if a high bank must be undercut. Take it slow on turns or curves. A front-end loader's turning radius is much quicker and smaller than most equipment and taking a curve too fast can result in a tip-over. Always check the bucket or equipment swing to avoid hitting an object or anyone that may be in the area. Never allow anyone under the arm of the front-end loader. Front-end loaders have a lot of pinch points, any one of which can remove fingers in an instant. Use extra care when placing any part of your body in the vicinity of a pinch point. Be sure you know where the pinch points are located, and the warning labels are legible. Workers should not approach a loader on foot until they signal the operator and get acknowledgement of their presence. Workers should never be allowed to stand under suspended loads or machine components such as the arm or bucket. High-speed, inexperienced operators and unsafe equipment operation lead to major accidents, so watch your speed. A front-end loader's steering reacts quickly at high speeds. Lock brake pedals together to assure straight-line stops and make sure the required slow-moving vehicle signage is in place and use hand or turn signals. Always pull over and let traffic pass and be extremely careful at intersections. Always follow the rules of the road. When leaving your front end loader, lower the bucket to the ground. If you must park on a grade, be sure to position the loader at right angles to the slope and block the wheels securely and lower the bucket to the ground for additional holding power. When trailering your loader, refer to the manufacturer's manual for proper loading and tie down procedures. Always use a spotter to help you drive onto the trailer and be sure to check the tie-down chains and towing components for wear or damage. Before leaving, double-check that the loader is solidly secured to the trailer and the hitch has been properly secured. Front-end loader safety is important. There's a lot of activity on the job and plenty of opportunity for accidents. We hope you found this information helpful and you can apply it to your specific situation. Always contact your supervisor if you have any questions. Most front-end loader operators perform in a highly professional manner. We hope this program will enhance your knowledge when operating a front-end loader. It's the experience of the operator and your commitment and attention to safety on the job that is what really counts.